Beauty pageant winner, rapper, on-air presenter, actress and event compare Munachi Abi, simply known as Muna, has described her creative skills as a function of a mood. The 2007 Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria beauty pageant winner, who has also gained mainstream recognition as an enigmatic rapper and actress, was recently spotted on the set of a new TV series where she plays a cute female investigative officer and she explained how her many sides and skill set have helped her forge ahead within the Nigerian creative industry. Come on. Come on. Get on the jazz. I know some really bad. They do some really bad things. I know some really bad guys. I wake up every day, I'm a different person. I'm grateful to God that I'm blessed with all of these different abilities to, you know, be anything that I want to be. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to act, because I wanted to, you know, express myself. Because I felt like life is a movie, and you are your own director, actor, um, casting director, all of that stuff. You're all of that, and you get to choose. So you decide who you want to be, whenever you want to be it. So for me, it's all of these things. I wake up today and I want to be a rapper, I go into the studio. And I wake up the next day and I want to paint, I go and paint. I wake up the other day and I want to act, I go act. I want to be a beauty queen, I walk like a queen. But in all of these things too, uh, now I've learned to not drop my crown, you know, in all of these things. Because life and God has bestowed something upon my life, it would be foolish of me to deny that. I've been running away from it for like forever and I just thought, you know, you should see me for me and not all of these things. But I am all of these things, you know, and that's okay. So yeah, when I'm a, an artist, I put my crown on as an artist. And when I'm an actor, I put that crown on as an actor. And when I'm, you know, other things too, I put that crown on too, because that's what it is. And I'm grateful and I'm blessed to be all of these things at, at many different times. I'm just expressing myself here and I feel like that's what we're here to do. Playing a well-kitted security agent on this set reminds and rekindle in her a childhood dream of joining the Marines or some other military outfits someday. Let's take out the Those kids. Oh, oh, kids. Yes, I'm going to come, 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 come. Waking up at 5 or 4 or 3 a.m. is not my it's not my thing. I, I work better at night. So imagine working and having to wake up and anyway. But I still you never know. You know, I, this life, yeah, like life has taught me so much in such a short time. You never really know what could happen. So if I feel that it's my calling to serve my country in that way, I might just go for it, you know. Lose lose, lose, lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the guns. The guns are nice. I like I feel, it feels very powerful, you know, to have a badge and wearing like a gun strap. When we actually walk out of set, like people always look at me like, hmm, the female police officer, it's, it's, it's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? In 2010, she made a critically acclaimed musical appearance on Waj's Women Liberation track, So Inspired, and she lyrically gave a good account of her ability to string words together. Fast forward to 2018 and a couple of singles here and there, the Port Harcourt born native of Imo State says she's not done with music and rapping, but she expects fans to be moderate with their expectations. I try not to tell people to have expectations anymore because, you know, expectations are just a weird thing because you can have your hopes up and they'll get dashed as I've seen with life so just when it comes it comes <laughs> my cheese, my just won't cease. and if you try to curse 